let's go ahead and jump into Kubota's UD2 oil. Now the UD2, uh, UDT2 and UDT, UDT uh, oil in general is just the same. Um, I've spent many hours trying to track this down. Is there a difference between this Kubota and UDT oil? Looking at the viscosity, it's got some crazy numbers here, 16,000 um, CP. They're, they're doing it so you, you have a problem with conversions. Viscosity index, 199, really? Um, all right, so it's got the, 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 off the, not off the charts, but way up craziness, 199. If you look up viscosity of oils at 199, you're not going to try, you're not going to find a comparison. But I'm going to show you where this UD2 is just your ISO, uh, your ISO VG32. And here it is. I mean, it's clearly right here on a Kubota website. Meet stringent uh, specifications. Five gallon pail of ISO VG32. Product code. Container size. This is on the website of Kubota. So if you're looking for the for this product, well, you need look no further um, than the 32, pretty much. Pretty much. Now, here's 46. I'm going to give you a breakdown first. I've got to do something for you here. So, let's look back at this viscosity. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Got notes here, too, to the left of me. All right. So, you, you're not going to find a comparison of uh, uh, viscosity at 199. I've, I've searched and I've hunted. Uh, you're just going to use UDT oil. They're going to bra they, they brag about. They have a video bragging about what the comp uh, components of this is. The, the video took me forever to find, and let me see if I can find it in one of my tabs. Bear with me while I, I open it up for you, and you'll see basically what UDT oil is. And you're like, oh, I can match that easily. Hold tight. Okay, here we go, guys. This is hydraulic oil. This is Kubota genuine parts. Here's a presentation here. It's going to be so easy to uh, follow this. Hopefully it will replay. Here we go. Qualities of UD2 oil. Two. And you'll see it's got detergents in it, etc. Kubota Super UDT2 is a multi-purpose all-weather type hydraulic oil that can be used for various parts. What are the benefits of using Kubota Genuine Hydraulic Oil? It is developed and tested by Kubota expert engineers to ensure the best performance of Kubota machines. Let's see some examples. Tolerance to water. These are pictures of an oil and water mixture test for examining oil and water emulsions. Kubota Super UDT2 on the left has a high tolerance for water, assuring high filtration performance. A low tolerance oil may cause the filter to clog with oil. Kubota Super UDT2 assures smooth operation of hydraulic and PTO systems. Okay, nothing special so far. Prevention of rust and corrosion. Rust inhibitors. Kubota Super UDT2 on the left is a high rust prevention oil. Low rust prevention oil may result in steel parts rusting faster. Kubota Genuine Hydraulic Oil assures high brake performance, keeping your machine in safe working condition. Anti wear. Mm -hmm. Kubota Super UDT2 offers excellent protection for gears and bearings. No protection oil may cause gear wear. Kubota Genuine Hydraulic Oil keeps your transmission in good condition, helping your machine to operate its filter best. filter will do that too. You can make sure that you've got a great filter on there. Keep your filter changed. Kubota Keep. Super UDT2 has been proven to be the best oil for Kubota machines, improving performance and prolonging the life of your investment. Choose genuine Kubota Super UDT2 hydraulic oil. That's it, guys. It makes all the difference. That's it. There's nothing special about that oil. 
you know, you're going to change your oil anyway. In the summertime heat, you know, UDT oil, this UDT2 oil is not great for all locations. You know, you're in the middle of Texas where it's, you know, super hot and then this, this particular product and then your viscosity is really thin. That's not going to be as good as if you use a thicker viscosity product that the heat will then bring down to a nice workable, not a too, not a too flowing fluid or flowing, flowing liquid that doesn't allow it to, to uh, stay onto your metals inside your hot machinery. You run it, now that thin viscosity is great if you live in New Hampshire and it's wintertime. That might be, a, you know, a great thing. I'm not stating this, that this is super thin, although it has an index of 199, which is, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a different index. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing for you and then I'm going to terminate video. I guess I'm going to do two more things for you. I'm going to give you this link and you can come over here and look at their version of hydraulic filter and use common sense now. You know, it's it's a filter. Replace the damn thing frequently. You know, you want your, your, your metals, your wear out of the system. You don't want it to keep, you know, filtering through your, your crap. Uh, the filter can't maintain forever. You know, you got to rotate that filter. You dump it and get a new one. Um, this is going to be probably some interesting stuff here for you, too. But I really wanted to get you something else. Hold on. Okay, this is where I'm going to terminate the video for you. I'm going to give you this link. Front axle assembly, four-wheel drive tractor applications, Kubota Universal Dynamic Tracker, UDT or Super UDT fluids. Recommended or, here it is, guys, SAE 80W90. GL-4 gear oil. They're comparing these together. This will be your Kubota website. Kubota lubricant. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Let me drop this down. Can you guys see the Kubota symbol up to the left? Their trademark. Um, yeah, so this I'm going to give you the link for this too. And you see also hydraulic oil. Uh, excavator and compaction tractor. ISO 32. Factory field, excavator, and compact tractor winter applications. ISO 46 is what I was just talking about a minute ago. Summer, ISO 68. You see what's going on here? Summer, we're talking heats, and this is temperature applications. It's got three stars, so let's scroll down. Uh, do not use multifunction oils in Kubota excavator hydraulic systems. Um, this is interesting. Uh, CJ4, this one makes this use all the publications. Yeah, never mix uh, different colors of antifreeze. Uh, okay. Um, SA viscosity, 10W30. SE engine oil. Uh, gasoline, this will be for oil, oil viscosity, 10W30 for your engine there. Hydraulic engines. Oil, oil, hydraulic engine slash oil viscosity recommendations. Outside temperature, SAE slash viscosity. It's 32 ISO 46. Wintertime, summertime, high ambient temperatures, ISO 68. You see what they did there? So you guys, be careful, just this one oil does it all stuff. All right, the fluid, a super UGT is the original and recommended transmission hydraulic fluid. The fluid uh, used to lubricate the transmission also used to operate the hydraulic fluid. All right, uh, to operate the hydraulic fluid. Okay. Use to lubricate the transmission is also used as the op operating hydraulic fluid. Okay. To ensure uh, proper operation of the hydraulic system and complete lubrication of the transmission, we recommend the use of Kubota UDT or Super UDT fluid for optimal while you see what I'm what you're driving at there. Match it to your temperatures, your heat, your heat ranges. Now, you, if you got intermittent uses of your vehicle, you know, you, you don't have to cry about it. You could probably let your super uh, your winter mix warm up, let the machine warm up, get that lubricant hot. Your ISO 68, and uh, you might, if it was warmed up, it might drop down to your winter viscosity. I would not get crazy over, you know, if you only start your things up to plow the driveway. I wouldn't change my hydraulic fluid out. Warm your machine up. Warm that, warm that pump up and, and get it going. Keep in mind, you know, your higher RPM, RPMs get that thing going also. Uh, find a dealer, Kubota, and this, you can see, we're on the website. We're on Kubota's website. I'm going to terminate this video. I'm going to give you the links, and you guys can stop sweating this uh, UD2 stuff. You know, this which hydraulic fluid works here and here. You know, it's more about the, the, the water, uh, hydrophobic. You don't want it to, you don't really want water in your system. 
All right, your rust inhibitors. You want to protect your your, your equipment, and you want to do that with filter changers. Um, anti wear lubricants inside there are also also great as long as they're they're compressible still. That there's not some anti wear product in there that it's not really compressible. Some damn uh, uh, silicas or something crazy. If you get my point. All right, take care, guys. I'm terminating video.